Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'll show you how to do a stock model in Mastercam. So let's get started. Here's the part, and we're pretending it came back from the wire department, and we have to put in all these holes. So it's going to be a 3 plus 2 part, but in order to verify it, we need to make a stock model that basically covers the solid portion and co covers up all the holes. Let's go to levels. Level 1 is part. Level 2. Level 2. I'm just going to look at it for a second. Okay, so we're going to use the wireframe and we're going to move that to level two. Now we're just going to activate level two. Next, we're going to extrude that. So this is kind of the beginning of the stock model. We extrude that inner and outer profile. Go down the length of the part, the depth, which is 5 eighths. Click the check. So that looks pretty good. So right click, the mill tool paths, stock model. Okay, that's good. Click on model, click the arrow, click on that new solid we just made, we'll give it a name, post, wire, EDM, click the check. Go to levels, turn on the part. And now we can turn the stock model on and off. So this will be used for a verify so we can make sure that all these different holes are being machined correctly. They're all different sizes. So we'll be able to use compare function with the stock model to make sure we get this thing done right. So we're going to create a new plane. From solid face, or just going to pick one of these sides. Okay. So we go to tool paths. First, we're going to measure these holes. So two hundred seventy thou. We'll do, let's see here, what do we want to do? Do Helix Bore. Just select those three holes. Click the check. And then we'll just find a tool. Make it tool one. Just give it some speeds and feeds that make sense. That's fine. Linking. First of all, we change them all to absolute. Reselect that depth. Add a little bit. So generate a nice toolpath. Next, go up to simulator options. This is an important step. 
we go down to stock model and click on it. It's going to do a post wire EDM for a verify. So, we'll let this thing load up for a second. My computer's not the fastest. And it looks like we got a nice stock model to work with. So we'll click on verify, click on compare, and now everything green is two size because it came from wire and then everything that's blue is uh, out of tolerance. So we can click the green arrow, and as you can see they're machining it, it's machining it from blue to green. Now all these holes are different sizes, so we could easily put a drill in and drill some of these holes to the wrong size, so that's where this verify and compare comes in handy. So that is our simple video on how to make a stock model. I hope you guys like the video and subscribe for more. Thanks.